Oh, hey, Medor. Hey, Michael. How's it going? It's going all right. Say, Medor, I've been thinking a lot about saving the world lately. Really? Me too. What did you have in mind? You know, energy is a huge issue. I was wondering what your thoughts are on the, one of the biggest problems facing energy in the world today. Well, I think there's a lot of great technology for generation, but I think unless there's a good way to store that energy, mm -hmm. they're going to have a hard time scaling that up. And it would be even better if you could store that energy in synthetic fuels instead. You know, water is abundant, and you can split water into hydrogen, and you can also convert carbon dioxide into carbon monoxide. Say, do you think we can do this with solar energy? Absolutely. There's a field called solar water splitting, where they use these things called photoelectrochemical cells to convert solar energy into hydrogen fuel. How do those work? Let me show you. So these are photoelectrochemical cells, or PECs, and the way they work is they absorb sunlight in the semiconductor, and they generate an electron in a hole. The hole goes through the material to the solution, where it oxidizes water to create oxygen gas. The electron goes through an external circuit into the metal cathode, and then to the solution, where it reduces the proton to form hydrogen gas. Oh, well, these. I hear it's challenging to engineer PECs that are inexpensive, efficient, and stable. Any idea how to make them better? Well, so conventional wisdom says that these should operate at room temperature, but I'm not convinced that this is the only approach. I think heating these up could really help. But that sounds like a lot of energy. True. Uh, so you can actually get all this heat for free, because solar concentrators have been shown to get your cells above 400 degrees Celsius. But why heat them up in the first place? That's a good question. So kinetically, your reactions get a lot faster as you increase temperature. And thermodynamically, it actually takes less energy to split water. But doesn't your photovoltage decrease? For solar cells, yes. But for PECs, there are all these other processes that either become easier or faster at high temperature. And we've actually seen in lab that materials like iron oxide or bismuth vanadate, for them, the benefits actually outweigh the costs. Check out this plot. So here we have a plot for iron oxide. And what you can see is by increasing the temperature from just 10 degrees to 70 degrees, we see an increase in the photocurrent of over 50%. That's great. But how high can we go? If we heat it up much more, the water will evaporate, and the PC won't work anymore. Exactly. That's why you need a whole different device design to make this work. Here's how that could look. So, the main idea here is the same as it was for a liquid PEC, but instead of having water conducting your ions, you have a solid electrolyte instead. These can only conduct at elevated temperatures, so they're perfect for this application. Cool. So how high can this efficiency get for these devices? Well, my colleagues have done some simulations on this device design. And as you can see here, they found that you can reach 15% solar to hydrogen efficiency if you operate between 350 to 500 degrees Celsius. So now we're at elevated temperatures, and we have a solid gas interface. We will need different catalysts that are stable under these conditions, like those found in our work on solid oxide fuel cells. We're very interested in the surface of these catalysts. You know, this is the front line of electrochemical activity. However, the surface structure and composition can vary greatly from what is found in the bulk. So we use synchrotron radiation to understand these surfaces to design the high activity and good stability. So with such incentive to go to elevated temperature and having a good fundamental understanding, what we need now is to develop a new device platform for solar water splitting. Well, that was the most productive three-minute chat I've ever had. All right, let's go save the world.